Hello there. Sorry, I've been watching Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'm trying to deliver the line properly. Hello there. Something like that. Anyway, hope that you're well. It's round three of the British Stock Car Championship, and we're at Glastonbury Reverse. Now, I'm not really a fan of Glastonbury. It's a bit tight, it's a bit twisty, it's a bit fiddly, and there's far too many opportunities for cutting corners. If you were so inclined, there's probably 0.3 or 0.4 of a second per lap you could get by cutting the corners at Glasto. Personally, I try to keep at least one side of the cart on the track or curb at all times. I can't criticise it because the game allows you to do it, I'd just rather not do it. Plus, given that I tend to show my replays for any major event, I'd get shot down in flames if I posted a fast time with me off the track. I've always been of the opinion, would I go off the track if I was on an eSport event online or in front of a TV audience? You just wouldn't. Okay, straight from the start we want to get over to the right hand side of the circuit. When we get to that green and white rumble strip we start to turn in and I'm going to aim for that white tyre wall. I'm going to get as close to it as I possibly can to get a nice tight line and I'm trying to keep to the left hand side of the circuit as much as I can because that's going to open up this next right left combination. Now if you really want to you can get snug up against that black tyre wall there because strictly speaking you're still on the track. It's just going to make a shallower line into this left hander. Now almost immediately I'm turning left. The transfer of the weight from the previous corner is going to make the cart want to understeer. So we're going to aim to get as close to that white advertising hoard as we possibly can and then immediately I'm opening up the steering. I'm already opening the steering at this point because otherwise when I get onto the straight the cart is still steering into the left and we'll veer off to the left. Aim to let the cart run all the way out to the right hand side of the circuit, two wheels on the grass, two wheels on the circuit and when we get to that blue strip before the green and white rumble strip we're turning in. But because this is a double apex corner we're not looking at taking this too tightly. If we did that we'd approach the next part too shallow and we'd compromise our exit into the tight right hander that follows. Keep the cart under control and get a nice tight line through this corner. Two wheels on the grass, two wheels on the track. This will give you the best entrance to the tight right hander that follows. Take a nice wide line into this tight right hander. You can go a bit tighter if you want up against that tyre wall. Just make sure you open up the steering as you begin to exit the corner and run it out to the left hand side of the circuit. Take as wide a line as you possibly can here. Aim for that Firebird logo on the right hand side. We're looking at getting a nice tight line through this corner as that will open up this left hander coming up. Now I leave my turn in here about a cart length too long, which means I've missed the apex. I really need to be about half a cart width to the left, because ideally I'm looking to straight line this bit of track here between the black tyre wall on the left and the street cart logo up front. This bit with straight line, it's a bit like the first right-hander at Gibson where no one quite knows if it's part of the track or not, but since I've never seen anyone go around the outside of it, we're going across the blue strip. So we're getting as far over to the right hand side as we possibly can here and just as we get to this blue strip before the green and white rumble strip we're turning in. We're aiming to get as tight to that white tyre wall as we possibly can and then almost immediately start to open up your steering. Let the cart drift out to the right hand side of the circuit and then aim for the finish line. Just remember not to let your concentration dip. It's so easy to clip that zip car advertising hoarding on the right or the tyre wall on the left hand side. I've done it many times. So that's one lap of Glasto in the bag, but this time we're going to approach turn one at a much higher speed, so we're going to need to slow down for it. We're still going to aim for that white tyre wall on the left, slow down, rotate the cart and keep the cart on the left hand side of the circuit, once again opening up the next right left combination. Ok, I'm going to take it back to the start and let you watch it through without me talking.
Okay, that's two very quick laps of Glasto in the bag. Now, it's a very tricky circuit. Everything comes at you so quickly. It's so easy to make mistakes. I found myself doing quite a few runs just to try and iron out my mistakes. And even then, I look back at this and I see, yeah, there's a half a tenth there, two tenths there. It's a bit scruffy. It's very difficult to get a proper perfect lap in. Anyway, if there's any questions, just drop me a line. You know the score. Uh, I'll try and help you out as much as I can. Uh, if you like the videos, like, comment, subscribe. As I say, it always helps us out. See you next time.